Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Please all stand. I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we continue our Lenten observance being reminded of the call of our Lord Jesus Christ, not only to us as individuals, but our Lord Jesus calls us as one nation, as a people of God. We also offer this Mass particularly for our Apostolic Administrator, Bishop Broderick Pabilio, as he celebrates today his 66th birthday, we pray for good health and for continued perseverance in his work, in his pastoral ministry in our Archdiocese. And so as we begin this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray.
we implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, This is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you, so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts, and turned their backs, not their faces, to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all my servants, the prophets. Yet they have not obeyed me, nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer you. Say to them, This is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, to take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is vanished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God. And we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you will hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Please all stand. Magsisitayong mataos, halinang magbalik loob sa papagpatawad na Diyos. Sa Kanya tayo'y tumulog at manumpanik na loob. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. And when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, ask him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, 
Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In our two readings for today, we can observe that God in the first reading, Jesus in our gospel today, is talking to not one person. He was talking to a people. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, our Lord God is talking, trying to convince not only one person, but he was talking to the whole people of Israel. And he was saying to the people to come back to me, harden not your hearts, listen to my voice, so that I will be your God and you will be my people. This is important, my dear brothers and sisters, because God is not just calling a certain individual, but He is calling Israel as one people. In our Gospel passage today, Jesus was preaching, he was explaining all his miracles not only to one person, but he was talking to the people gathered. That is why Jesus is telling them about your people, about the kingdom of God coming to your people. What is these readings? teaching us, dear brothers and sisters today, that God is calling us not just as individuals. God is calling us as a people. Tayo po, mga kapatid, ay hindi lamang kinakausap ng Panginoon isa-isa, kundi kinakausap niya tayo bilang isang bayan. Kaya ang ating pagbabago ay hindi lamang kanya-kanyang pagbabago. Ang pagbabago dapat natin ay pagbabago bilang isang bayan, isang pamayanan. I know that during the Lenten season, we are always doing our works of fasting, penance, prayers, abstinence, giving alms to the poor, to those who are in need. But let us remember that all of these works should not just be done individually, but we should also focus on conversion, not only of ourselves, but conversion of the people of God. And so, I ask you, my dear brothers and sisters today, siguro po ay lahat naman po tayo ay kanya-kanya nakagawa na tayo ng mga 
gawa ng kabutihan sa panahon ng kwaresma. Pero, ito po siguro yung tanong ko sa inyo ngayon. At sa akin din, no, sa ating lahat. Nakaakay na ba kayo ng isang tao para magbago ngayong panahon ng kwaresma? Nakahila na ba kayo ng isang tao, ng isang kasama ninyo na para samahan kayong magdasal, samahan kayong mangumpisal, samahan kayong gumawa ng kabutihan sa kapwa? Yan ang hamon ng kwaresma. God is calling us not just one by one, but God is calling us as one people. Have I asked one person today, have I reached out to other persons so that I can do my mission to the Lord so that we could save many souls we could bring many souls to heaven. We could bring many souls to conversion this Lenten season. Sa atin pong simbahan ay uh, marami po tayong mga gawain na ganito. Kung mapapansin po natin, sa simbahan ay iba-iba. Iba-iba ang gawain, iba-iba ang focus, pero ang simbahan ay sinisikap maabot ang lahat. There are church people who are working to protect nature and our environment. Yan ang kanilang pinupuntahan. There are religious nuns, sisters, and church people who are working for human rights and justice. Kasama na siguro dyan si Bishop Pabilio na ating apostolic administrator at ngayong araw ay nagdiriwang ng kanyang kaarawan. Iba-ibang gawain pero pilit na inaabot ang lahat ng sagayon ang pagbabago, ang pagbabalik loob sa Diyos ay hindi lamang kanya-kanya kundi tayo ay babangon muli, tayo ay magbabago bilang isang bayan. My dear brothers and sisters, we are not being called by God as individuals. We are called by God as one people. Let us try hard so that in this Lenten season, conversion, prayer, fasting and abstinence, all of these might not be done just by one person, but it must be done by all of us. Let us strive hard so that we could give this yes out to the mission of the Lord. To say yes, to spread the good news of the salvation of God. Sana po ay magsika po tayo na ngayong panahon ng kwaresma ay maabot din natin ang ating kapwa at maipalaganap natin ang balita ng pagbabago at pagbabalik loob sa Diyos. Nawa tayo ay magbalik sa Panginoon bilang isang bayan. Amen. Please all stand. Gathered together in Christ, who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. For every petition, let us say, Father, make us one with your Son. Father, make us one with your Son. That the Church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world, let us pray to the Lord, Father, make us one with your, with your Son. Son. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak out boldly in the name of Christ, let us pray to the Lord, 
Father, make, make us, us one with your Son, that we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father make, make us, us one, one with, with your, your Son. Son that the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us one with, with your Son. Son. That those who have died may be received into the fullness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us, us one, one with, with your Son. Son. Almighty Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son who conquered sin and death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Cleanse your people, Lord, we pray from every taint of wickedness, that their gifts may be pleasing to you, and do not let them cling to false joys, for you promise them the rewards of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord, that since we have from you all that we are, through your grace we may seek what is right and have strength to do the good that we desire. Amen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Lord, we give our again.